Hey guys, it's me, Dolphinatic, and welcome to my team analysis video of my uh, team I used in the uh, Battle Union Week 2 battle I had against Xenon, which goes live at 7 o'clock Friday, the 26th of June. Um, I'm hoping this was upload first, uploaded Thursday night because I'm recording it at 20 past 9 Thursday night. So um, hopefully this renders and gets uploaded pretty quickly. Anyway, as I said, this is my team analysis. You are seeing my DS screen right now, but I will be reading everything off um, of my showdown preparation because it has the EVs, the natures, the everything you want to know. But I figure that the visuals of the DS are a lot nicer um, for you guys to watch. So, um, quickly go over what Xenon has in his squad um, because that only makes sense for you to sort of understand or you can maybe have your own ideas of what um, you would have bought and such. So, Xenon's 10 Pokemon which he had to choose from. He had Keldeo, Arcanine, Amoongus, Gastrodon, Dragalge, Meloetta, Crocodile, Piloswine, Electros, and Mega Scizor. And on his bench, which he decided not to bring any of, which the last one I'm very grateful for, uh, Ditto, Spiritomb, and Dragonite. Um, so that's uh, Xenon's squad. Um, and the threats that I identified while building this team. Uh, Keldeo, Huge threat. Um, Crocodile's always spooky. And Mega Sizzle. So I prepped for Keldeo and Mega Sizzle the most. Because obviously they're just huge threats. Keldeo could outspeed like the majority of my team if they're not scarfed. Um, and I had enough EVs in my low punny to outspeed max speed one, but I'll go over that a bit in a minute. Um, so Keldeo and Mega Sizzle are what. Um, I was preparing for the most. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to wait till the battle goes up tomorrow um, to find out what actually happens. Um, so, just bear in mind, Keldeo and Mega Sizzle were the scariest things. So, going over to my team. Now, the plan here was out of the list of Pokemon I just mentioned, um, he only has a one defogger, and that is his Sizzle. And if he brings Sizzle, that means I can just fire off a fire move and it dies. So, the plan was Hazard Stack, and then get him switching, force the switches with phasing moves, get Toxics. Not so it's stally, but obviously forcing the switches is really going to help me. He has a Moongus um, with, with Regenerator, so basically I can nullify the Regenerator. Um, he has Gastro Gastrodon with Recover, um, and it helps with bulky things like Meloetta. Goddamn, Assault Vest Meloetta is disgusting, and Hazard's only he'll take it down. So, Hazard Sack was uh, main priority, and then basically if I had enough Hazards up, Mega Lupunny could just clean up. Um, especially if he didn't have Keldeo. Or a Scarfer. So, that was the plan. So, with that in mind, the first Pokemon we will go over with the Hazard Stacking is Ice Gem the Roserade. Um, basically, Spikes and Stealth Rock were my Hazards of choice. I could have um, run Toxic Spikes as well, but Xenon does obviously have the Defog with Steel type, which means it's immune to it. Um, and he has Regalgy and the Moongus, so there wasn't really much point of me bringing Toxic Spikes. Um, and this this Roserade was built to be kind of bulky. A lot of my Pokemon were built bulky because I was really worried of Xenon's power, um, but I could I, I felt like with bulk I could still take him on anyway. Um, so I've got a bold Technician Roserade. I'm holding the Black Sludge, uh, and I have got 252 EVs in HP, 60 in defense for Bold Nature, so obviously um, that increases the defense, and 196 special attack EVs. Um, just putting the rest in there for extra power, hidden power fire um, for that Scizor, uh, also for Amoongus in case he had that. Um, it did mean, if I, as I wasn't running HP Ice, so I was a bit prone to Dragalge coming in. Um, luckily, that didn't happen too often. Um, Giga Drain is my grass type move. I had to have I had to have a grass type move because this uh, Gastrodon was a thing. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to take it down so easy. Um, obviously, it's a great recovery move as well. Uh, Sludge Bomb was basically for Arcanine, but it also hits just things hard because it's stab and it's a high base power. And Roserade is not exactly weak. It can also poison my enemies. And then my final move is Spikes. Obviously, we've gone over the Hazard Stack um, idea already. Next up, we have got the Vaporeon, named after Frido, um, because Frido is a lover of all the Eon evolutions. Um, so this is bold, 
once again, and let me quickly find this in Showdown. So I've gone for Bold, because basically this was my answer to Kelvio. Um, and even with Bold max defense, there was a very slim, no, yes, yeah, slim chance to die to two uh, Secret Swords. So I had to run Protect to avoid uh, dying so easily, basically. Um, water Absorb is standard, obviously I could take the Scalds and Hydro Pumps, that thing wanted to throw at me. If I had Icy Wind, great, that's fine, I'm slow anyway. Um, I have got Scald, obviously for the stab, um, and the burn chance. Uh, protect to get enough leftovers recovery where I can take on Keldeo. If he was sub mind, I have Raw, um, which also helps for other phases too. Um, and Wish was my other move, just for HP recovery. Um, if he wants to keep switching in and out while I'm wishing up, that's fine, because the hazards are going to take their toll. This thing's kind of walled by Gastrodon, which I realized like five minutes before the battle. So I didn't go and change anything, there's no point in changing your game plan. Um, and yeah, this thing's job was basically to stop Keldeo, but also to stop anything else. Like, you could take on Sizzle, okay. Um, but that Keldeo, this is like my main Keldeo kind of check, you could say. Um, next up we have Reggie Steel, my specially defensive monster. This guy, you, you wait and see. Um, it's Reggie Steel holding the Choppleberry to weaken um, Focus Blast from his Dragalgy. Troy Specs Focus Blast does about 70% when I'm holding leftovers, so obviously two is going to kill me. With a Choppleberry, I can live two, um, and I can fire off Earthquakes and get about 90% off. However, if I have some Hazards up, he is going to die to two Earthquakes. Um, but the, the Registeel set worked out even better than I thought. So I have Stealth Rock, because obviously it's part of my Hazard Stack plan. Seismic Toss is beautiful in this format. It's 50 damage. It breaks a lot of subs, um, especially on a defensive Pokemon. It's 50 damage. It's beautiful. Um, Earthquake for the Dragalgy, this is my, my thing to take on Dragalgy, or well, one of them, and then Toxic just to wear down lots of walls, for example Gastrodon, um, Salt Vest, um, what's it called, Meloetta, things like that. So that was Registeel's main job um, in this battle. Next up is Hydreigon, um, I was fearing the Assault Vest and Meloetta because I faced that thing in the PPL and it's base 128 special defense it's just disgusting so I was really afraid he might bring that um, so I ran mixed high dragon with the roost because I'm life orb didn't need to be scarfed to outspeed anything because um, I could outspeed a lot of his pokes other than Keldeo and I can't outspeed Keldeo anyway if it's scarfed so um, life orb but speedy life orb was the way to go Draco Meteor is obviously just going to do a hell of a lot of damage to anything that isn't a fairy or steel type. Um, Crunch, I was running mixed because of the Meloetta. After two layers of spikes and stealth rocks, that would die. Assault Vest would die unless he had um, bold max defense, then it would still do probably about 60%. I haven't got the cow in front of me, but you know. Um, Fire Blast was for Sizzle and for Amoongus. And then I have Roost because if he wants to bring in. Amoongus take Fire Blast and die to another one, or you know, switch to get the Regenerator, free Roost. Um, I realised I haven't gone over the EVs on Registeel. Um, he's just max special defence, max HP with 4 in attack, um, and Vaporeon was max in defence, max in HP and 4 in special attack. Um, the EVs on Hydreigon, uh, 20 in attack, because that's all I could spare, 252 in special attack, just to make the Dracos hit as hard as possible. And uh, 236 EVs in speed with a naive nature, um, which meant I could outspeed uh, max speed Arcanine. Um, what else? I want to say there's something else, but I can't remember what I said in this team. Maybe Crocodile. I don't know what Crocodile's base speed is off the top of my head. Um, so that's High Dragon. Uh, you'll see what he done in the battle later. Uh, penultimate Pokemon for this week was Zapdos. Called oh yeah, I haven't got any nicknames. Um, he's called Argo because Thunderbirds Argo. Um, once again, it's a bold natured Pokemon. I was really prepared. <laughs> this thing took on Sizzle so well, it was just, it was hard not to bring it. Um, so we've got the leftovers, pressure of course. Um, like they'll ever bring out, oh, what is other, is it static? Is that his other ability? Yeah, like they'll ever bring that out. Um, we've got Toxic, Roost, obviously to be a bulky mofo, that just annoys things. Volt Switch for the Momentum, and Heat Wave for the Scizor slash Amoongus. Um, this thing, it's it's just there to stop Sizzle basically, and keep the momentum going. Apart from Gastrodon, obviously Gastrodon's annoying, but 
Gastrodon can't really do too much to me other than Ice Beam. And I honestly don't think that we're doing too much because I am bulky Zapdos. Obviously, I have no special defense investment, but Gastrodon, uh, Ice Beam, I don't know. I'd probably do about half, I'd say. I don't know the calc off the top of my head. But Toxic and Roost, Toxic and Roost all, all I like because obviously, if I Roost, I lose my Flying type and it's not super effective anymore. But he could predict that and go for the Earth Power. So, anyway. That was Zapdos' job. He was basically here to try and stop Mega Sizzle. Um, then finally, we have probably like the one of the strongest Mon in this kind of format. We have Seduction, the Mega Low Punny. Now, this Low Punny, I could afford to run Adamant this week because Xenon's team isn't too fast, um, and it worked out really well for me. Um, I was running 84 EVs in HP. Uh, 252 in attack, which let me hit a massive 206 attack on Mega Low Punny. That's just disgusting, um, especially with high jump kick. But I'm not running high jump kick this week, as you can see. Um, uh, uh, where was I? Obviously, Scrappy has the ability that was just—it wasn't really relevant too much this battle. I don't think he actually has a ghost in his squad anyway. Um, don't correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, I was running Fake Out. Obviously, it's kind of like a staple move on Mega Low Punny. It's a free Mega Revolution. Uh, Fire Punch for the Sizzle and Amoongus, but then I realised Return does more anyway, but Fire Punch was definitely for Sizzle. Um, if you bought Max Defensive Sizzle, it could live, but if it's bringing Offensive, it would die. And I don't think I'd die to a Bullet Punch anytime soon. Um, return is, you know, like a staple move on Low Punny, it just does so much damage. This thing could just take out his whole team after a few hazards. Um, and it was beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful Pokemon to use. Then my final move was Drain Punch. Just in case I lost a bit of HP, I needed this thing to stay around. There wasn't really a need for high jump kick, um, none of his Pokemon are really weak to fighting too much, um, and return was the move of choice, so if I was desperate for HP I could just click Dream Punch. I did also have Wish support of course, to try and keep this thing alive with Vaporeon's huge HP stat. Um, so Lopani was basically here to kill everything that my team had worn down slash hadn't killed already, and it done its job really well this battle. So, as an overview, that is my team for the week. Let's quickly go over it briefly again. We have Mega Lopunny, we have Zapdos, we have Mixed High Dragon, we have Specially Defensive Reggie Steel, Physically Defensive Vaporeon, and a defensive bulky offense uh, Rose Raid, we'll call it. So that's my team for the second week battle versus Xenon. Um, if you are intrigued as to what happened in the battle, then stay around for my channel 7 p.m. GMT. Um, I don't know what that is for Americans, if there are any Americans watching this. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoy the battle uh, that will be on, and hopefully this video has been insightful as to my team choices. Um, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the battle, so I'll see you later. Bye.